Welcome to the tutorial painting using the paint tool. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the paint tool to color the three-quarter view, let's go there, of the cartoon rabbit. So to access the paint tool you can click on its icon in the tools toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut Alt K or Option K. The first option you have in the tool properties panel is whether you'd like to paint with a marquee or the lasso. So let's start with the marquee. So if we choose the skin color swatch from the uh, color panel and click on the leg here, we see that it fills right away. But then let's say we'd like to color the outline from black to this dark mustard color. So we'd have to click on it a second time. So the marquee is good for precision like that. However, if you want to paint something quickly, say we'd like to color the line and this empty fill in at the same time, often the lasso works better because you can paint both in one sweep, like that. The second options you have are the various paint modes. So by default you're on the first, which is just paint. Um, so let's just paint this in. The second mode you have is paint unpainted. So here if we choose a different color, say pink, this tool will allow you to paint in just the zones that are empty. So this black line which is already painted and this yellow leg will be unaffected as you make big sweeps across like that. So as you see these remained black, yellow, and just the unpainted zone became pink. So the next mode is the repaint mode. And this sort of does the opposite of the paint unpainted mode. The repaint allows you to just repaint zones that already have color but will leave zones that are empty, empty. So let's maybe select the blue here. And if we make another sweep across, we'll see anything with paint in it got repainted to blue. So the black lines, the pink, and the yellow. However, these zones that are unpainted remained unpainted. The last mode is the unpaint mode. And this mode will unpaint, once again, um, zones that have color in them, like this. So all the black lines disappeared um, as well. Or you could just make a simple selection like that to unpaint um, just a single zone. So let's go back to the regular paint mode. The next option I'd like to show you is the close gap option. It's this button here. If you click on it, you'll see that you have four options. No close gap, close small gap, close medium gap, and close large gap. By default it's set to no close gap. So if we reset the view here by clicking on Shift M, and we take a look at the rabbit, just at a quick glance it looks like all the lines are solid. Um, of the rabbit contour, they're all attached and that there are no gaps or spaces. But then if we select the skin swatch from the color panel and try to paint this leg of the rabbit, we'll see that not nothing is happening and this might happen to you as you paint. So if we zoom in and take a look, we'll see why. It's because there's a small gap in the leg. So in order to be able to paint without having to manually close zones with invisible lines, you want to do a super quick job and you know, you know no one will see this because your character will be far away or whatever, you can use this automatically close gap option. Um, some people jump right to large gap because they just want to close everything that's available. However, if you want to have, if you want to have a limit for how big you will allow a gap to be without it having a black line to close it, you might want to just start with small and see if that works. So in this case, close small gap worked. Um, one thing that's kind of funny about Animate Pro is that an animate is sometimes the zooming makes a difference. Sometimes let's let's undo this. Um, if you're zoomed in like this, the computer might consider this a big gap, whereas if you're zoomed out, it'll consider it a small gap. So right now we're still in the close small gap mode. Um, and we'll try to paint this and you'll see it's not painting and that's because now this is considered a, quite a large gap because you're zoomed in so much. So you really have to zoom out a bit 
before the computer will consider this a small gap. So it's sort of just a little funny quirk uh, that the software has. So the next thing I'd like to show you is the um, apply to multiple drawings option. What I'm going to do actually is I think I'm going to unpaint this leg here and turn on the onion skin. So if you remember from before, I have three views of my rabbit. I have, you know, the front, the three-quarter, and the profile. They might be a little hard to see here. Um, but if you notice, now I'm in the middle one, the three-quarter, what we were just painting. This uh, right leg here seems to overlap in all three drawings. So it's basically at the same position for all three of these drawings in the same layer in the same row. Um, and this often occurs when you do a model sheet or when you do a walk cycle. So this is not an uncommon occurrence that happens. So if you click down on this option here, the apply to multiple drawings button, and actually you, have to, you should be sure that you're in the paint mode, um, and you click in this area right here, you'll see that the that the leg on all three of the drawings, that right leg, got painted, which is kind of neat. It allows you to paint really quickly zones that are close together and overlap. And you don't necessarily need the onion skin feature on to do it. You can turn it off. Um, you have to click it, though, every time you perform this feature. So you would paint here. And then if you, you'll see that it's still painted all three legs. Um, the reason that this pops back up after you paint one area is because this is not a mode you generally want on by default. Um, you don't, most people, unless they're doing it consciously, don't want to paint multiple drawings because you could end up with sort of a messy situation. So this has to be done very consciously, which is why you have to press it between each uh, multiple drawing painting. The next thing I'd like to show you is the apply to visible drawings option. But before you can use this option, you have to change one of the preferences in the preferences window. So in Mac, you go to Animate Pro Preferences on Windows that's Edit Preferences, and then go to the Camera tab and deselect the Select Tool Works on Single Drawing option, and hit Enter. And for this feature to work, you also have to be in the Camera view. So up until now, we've been working in the Drawing view. So let's go to the Camera view. And what I'm going to do is also enable the second uh, rabbit clean layer here. So both of these were identical to begin with. They were just the black outlines of the two rabbits. Um, and the way this feature works is if you select a color, and uh, well, let's make it the actual rope color, um, and you like to paint down the stack, the, lay the layer order stack here, on the same frame, you can select this option and it works um, like the paint multiple drawings option in that you have to press it between every paint uh, action that you perform. Um, and in this case, these two drawings lay are identical, so they lay on top of each other, but usually uh, this option is used for a cutout puppet where the various body parts are on different layers in the timeline, but in the same column. So a hand, um, a foot, a leg, they're usually all placed in the center of the drawing or camera view, um, I guess in this case the camera view, and you'd like to paint all of them the same color all the way down the stack. And actually it's called applied to all visible drawings because if you uncheck some of them to make them not visible in the camera view, um, it'll, it won't paint those layers, which is perfect. So if you're doing an article of clothing all the way down, you might uncheck anything with skin color. Um, and then if you're doing skin color, you can uncheck everything with clothing. It'll paint down the stack very quickly. So let's click on this button here and then uh, paint this leaf here. It's hard to see because it's a very pale blue. Uh, I might actually undo that and make it the darker blue just for uh, visibility's sake. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I clicked the undo button, um, this option was disabled because I had already used up my one paint when I painted it the lighter blue. So now if we go to the drawing view and we look at the second layer we'll see that it didn't actually paint. The, the sleeve is still only blue on the top layer. So we go back to the camera view 
and we undo what we just did. And this time we actually click on the um, Apply to Visible Drawings option and we paint and we go to the drawing view. We'll see that both layers were painted. So the sleeve is blue on both layers. So the next option I'd like to show you is the Respect Protected Color option and by default this button is enabled. This is sort of a two-part um, process. You actually have to select a color in your uh, palette to protect it. Um, so these outlines were created with this black outline swatch and if I click on the outline swatch and then go to the color panel menu here and go to colors I can select the menu item protect color and you'll see that a red bar appears around the outline allowing you to know that this color is now protected. So now whenever I change any of the painting modes, say I'd like to repaint uh, this yellow here, if I actually sweep across you'll see that only the blue was repainted but the black wasn't. Normally when this is disabled, let's undo this, it'll paint both and we can see this by unclicking this option and then repainting and now both the lines and the fill have been repainted. And you can do that for multiple swatches and this will turn off multiple protected colored swatches. So the last thing I'd like to show you is the repaint brush mode. And this is a property of the brush tool and not the paint tool. So I'm going to click on that. And in the tool properties panel for the brush, it's the third icon here, repaint brush. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to select uh, the nose outline color here. So if I sweep across this tail, which has a painted zone, which is the black outline, and an unpainted zone, which is the fill of the tail, you'll see that having this mode on allows you to repaint painted zones and leave unpainted zones untouched. So let's undo that. And obviously from the regular brush mode, the opposite of that would be to paint over everything. Um, something else that's kind of neat, if you actually put the um, respect protected color option back on and then choose a light color and then go back to the paintbrush tool actually I could have um, re-enabled the uh, respect protected color from the brush panel because that option in the brush and the paint uh, tool are linked but anyway so if you go back to your drawing and you sweep across you can actually make a highlight because it's going to pop behind the black line because they're protected but it's going to repaint over any other color that's there which is the blue and so it's a nice way of making highlights and shadows um, under the black outline of your character. So there's only one more thing I'd like to show you. Um, I have to go back to the paint tool mode and it's something I just forgot to do while uh, showing you the, the different paint modes. So if you remember here there's the unpaint button um, but actually if you use the center button of your mouse which is usually a scrolling button and you click down you can actually unpaint um, your drawing as well and you can't see it here because we have a uh, we had both these layers selected but uh, what I basically did is I unpainted a zone just by clicking the center um, button on my mouse. It's a quick little trick that you can use especially if you're inking and painting a lot and you're going back and forth between painting and unpainting it's a really quick and efficient way of doing things. So that's pretty much it for painting using the painting tool. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial, drawing using invisible lines.